Now we're gonna talk about an even newer feature that Midjourney has released, which is called its blend function. And rather than in a previous lecture, we blended one photo with our own prompt. With this new function, we can blend two images dynamically together. So let's look at two options and see what we can come up with. The main difference about this is rather than typing in dash imagine, we're gonna do backslash or dash blend. Then it's gonna give us the ability to choose up to five photos. So let's go ahead and grab our reference images. The first one I wanna do is, let's say this iPhone, and let's blend it with something futuristic. So I have a fighter jet, and we're gonna put that in. I'm gonna hit enter, that's gonna work in the background. And let's do a second example to really see what this actually does. So we're gonna take this pineapple and we're gonna blend it with a stormtrooper. So we're gonna create a pineapple stormtrooper. Let's see what we get. <laughs> so here are the two examples that it outputted. It gave me a, I mean, this is not too bad, this bottom right one. It is an iPhone that is like a high-tech fighter jet but it's not something that I would necessarily use. So you can kind of see the limitations. It is doing its best of cutting out what the subject of your image is. And this is the pineapple stormtrooper. It more did a stormtrooper, small like a pineapple, but what I was wanting was more of a stormtrooper with the texture of a pineapple. So let's try this again and let's use some different reference images. So let's start with grabbing the image of the shoe and a helicopter. We're gonna hit enter and we'll do a second prompt as well. Let's grab this Lamborghini. That's a much more futuristic expensive car and let's juxtapose that with this old school Volkswagen Beetle. So as you can see, it's not perfect. It definitely favors carrying over color from your reference photos, but that's a pretty unique way of blending a shoe dynamically into a helicopter. So I wouldn't use this as a final edit, but possibly a great potential jumping off point for coming up with ideas quickly. Now let's check out our Volkswagen Beetle and the Ferrari, and that's actually pretty impressive. It did a really good job of combining both of the elements while still keeping it a believable car. So I suggest that you mess with this new function, uh, play around with it, and see what kind of pieces of art that you can come up with.